What is up, everybody? Almost Evil 33 is here again with another Medal of Honor gameplay commentary for you guys. And in this footage, I am on Garmsier Town playing Team Assault. And I am on the Coalition side running with the Spec Ops class. I'm using the M4A1 with red dot sights, stock barrel, and extra magazine equipped. And this is basically my go to class in tough situations. I get work done in this class, you know what I'm saying? And before I even talk about this gameplay, I want to thank you guys for advancing my channel to where it is right now. Um, as you guys probably know, it's been about two weeks, I think, since my first video was uploaded, which was a Kunar base introduction commentary. And since then, I think I have over 50 subscribers, I know that, and about 2,500 video views, and that's really awesome. I never expected it to be moving this quickly, and I only have you guys to thank for that. And what's most important to me is all your positive feedback. I mean, I just couldn't be happier with how many comments I see and how many thumbs up I get in my videos. And that's really cool because it really motivates me to make more of these videos. And it's really cool to see that some people still love and appreciate this game like I do. And I don't know, I have no one but you guys to thank. So thanks a lot. Um, keep it up. Keep spreading the word of this channel and we'll see what happens and I always try to reply to your guys comments cuz I think you guys have been really chill people I mean I already uh, accepted a couple friend requests on Xbox from you guys um, I reply to almost all your comments here on YouTube and also your Xbox live questions and um, I don't know I think it's just really fun to do these commentaries and I really enjoy it a lot and I have uh, no one to thank but you so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy all the awesome content that's gonna be on this channel and just keep uh, liking and uh, commenting and anything else any other positive feedback you can leave me if you like my videos and yeah thanks a lot guys uh, anyway so this gameplay Hmm, well, there's so much to say. First off, it was an epic comeback. And... Well, wait, before I even get into it, look at this. This guy's shooting me up from this building. Bam, AT4. Look at that. Hellfire. <laughs> oh my god. Just, that, I remember I remember shooting that guy with the AT4 like it was yesterday. It was like an impulse just to pull it out and shoot him. And that was the first time I've ever actually, like, gotten a clutch killed in AT4, I think. That was awesome. And now we're getting spawn trapped here by this guy on the other team. And there were two dudes on the other team. Um, they were in a clan together, so I'm sure they were in a party chatting it up. And one of them was named like Honky Kong or something. I think it was like Asian, so I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong. But you guys know how that goes. Um, but anyway, they were just basically causing havoc in this lobby. And... It was pretty annoying, especially not even in this game so much as the last one. We The last game we played before this one, unfortunately I wasn't recording it. We were playing on Kunar base, and they destroyed us. We got beat like 1,200 to 600. And it was just because they were sitting in the back of their spawn, like sniping and just sitting in dark corners, and we were trying to advance on them, but they just weren't budging. And it was really annoying. But... We ended up having a comeback here. And right now, you can see in the gameplay, we're down. We're only down like 60 points, 60 or 70 points right now. We get down by about 100. And then then I got my spawn trap going. And you guys will see, I get a uh, textbook spawn trap going in this gameplay. Like, it does not get any easier than the spawn trap that I'm down. And you guys will see it. It's on that building at Charlie that they all spawn on and seem to cycle in and out of. I don't know why they like it, but they do. And I'll take advantage of that, you know? Uh, I think Old Bean himself said it best once. He said, If you're complaining about getting spawn trapped, then leave the spawn. Because if you don't leave the spawn, where else am I supposed to kill you? You know, what are you supposed to, like, stand around for two minutes and wait for them to get out of the spawn? No. I'm not going to sit around. If you're not going to leave your spawn, then I'm going to kill you in it. If that's a spawn kill, I don't care. If you're not going to move your... Sp if you're not going to leave from your spawn, then... That's your own problem. So anyway, I put down my missile here, and this is where the textbook spawn trap starts. Four guys with the missile right up to artillery. 
And here I just put down artillery right on spawn. And now I got my strafing run. Yeah, the strafing run's not too good for this spawn trap, but that's okay. I just like, I thought there was a guy back in that building, but I guess not. And I pick off this guy and I got my airstrike and from here it's just cruise missile. I find that whenever I put down an airstrike in the remotely populated area um, of the map, I will get a cruise missile. The F-16s just do me so much work. I love them so much. And here's my cruise missile. Bam. That was one of those cruise missiles where your screen just turns white. You don't even get to see the explosion. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Anyway, so now I have 2x score. And... I kind of wanted to go flawless for the rest of this match, so that's why I didn't kill myself with the, uh, before I dropped the cruise, in case you guys were wondering about that. And I really did want to go flawless for the rest of the match. I know I already died like once or twice, but you know, I thought it'd be cool just to have my double score and just rack up a lot of points. And I pick off this dude. Look at this guy, pistol in your face. Oh. And that guy sniped me. It's the same dude that was sitting at the top of the stairs that killed me before. Like, I have the worst luck in this game. If I tried to no-scope, I would miss every time and just die. I swear, man. People have really good luck, but I have the worst luck. Anyway, it was pretty funny. I actually got another spawn trap going here. You guys will see. Um, I killed this guy. And then I killed these. So I killed those two guys. And now I realize I'm in an advantageous position right here. And I can definitely make some use out of this. And I did. And I picked off this guy, and now I call him my UAV. And look at this. I'm going to shank this guy right here. Oh, no, I'm going to shoot at this guy. Shank. Look at this guy over here. You're dead. Put down my rockets. Unfortunately, you guys can probably guess the rockets on the game. And if I had more time, I bet you I would have dropped another cruise. But alas... And that pretty much does it for this commentary. It was a comeback. And we ended up killing them, too. It wasn't even close at the end. So that was pretty well-deserved. The other team was just a bunch of campers. But you know what? That's usual for this game. I'm used to it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and commentary. Um, I went 64-4 and four for 1,670 points. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome Medal of Honor 2010 content. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.